Starting today, the only Palestinians authorized to pray in Jerusalem for the holy month of Ramadan are those who live in Israel. Israeli authorities have closed all crossings with the West Bank and Gaza after two Palestinians opened fire in a Tel Aviv restaurant Wednesday, killing four people. To avert new attacks during the Jewish holiday of Shavuot, Israel will keep the border shut until Sunday. Israel's new defense minister, Avigdor Lieberman, also ordered the deployment of extra troops in the West Bank. In Tel Aviv, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu visited the Sarona attack site, criticizing the Palestinian reaction to the shooting. I didn't hear any firm condemnation from the Palestinian Authority, but I did hear shouts of joy in Gaza and in other parts of the Palestinian society in Judea and Samaria. This merely reminds us who and what we are dealing with. But Palestinian Authority leaders said the Israeli leadership itself is responsible for the ongoing unrest. This act is a direct result of Israeli policies, a direct result of the Israeli repression and abusive policy. It proves that the Intifada did not stop because its causes remain. Palestinian officials have said the security clampdown will only increase tensions, something U.S. officials fear as well. Police in Jerusalem on high alert on the first Friday of Ramadan. Thousands of police patrolling the old city just days after four Israelis were shot dead by terrorists at a popular shopping and dining complex in Tel Aviv. John Huddy is live in Jerusalem with the latest. John, what's it like there today? Well, you can definitely see the heightened police presence. There's a lot of officers posted up on some of the major corners, intersections throughout the city. Uh, but people, it's been busy as usual because we're going into a Jewish holiday. That said, though, yes, they, a lot of uh, major security measures have been put into place here in Jerusalem and the West Bank as well. As far as the number of officers, 3,000 police officers have been posted throughout Jerusalem, as I just talked about. There was concern to today about possible clashes after Friday prayers at the Temple Mount compound in the Old City, the first of the holy month of Ramadan. But the prayers ended peacefully. Still, police remain on high alert, and that will continue throughout the weekend. It's the Jewish holiday of Shavuot. So that, coupled with Wednesday's terror attack, has definitely heightened security concerns. As we know, Mohammed and Khalid Makrame, both 21, opened fire at a cafe in central Tel Aviv. That dramatic video, people running for their lives, killing four people and wounding about a dozen others. Uh, the IDF conducted overnight raids and arrests in connection with Wednesday's attack. And in the wake of the attack, Israel has suspended the permits uh, for 83,000 Palestinians in the West Bank to get into Israel during the holy month of Ramadan. And also the IDF has sent in two military battalions into the West Bank in order uh, for security there. As for violence today, uh, no major attacks, but the IDF did report an attempted stabbing at the entrance to the city of Nablus in the West Bank. This has been a hot spot for stabbings, attempted stabbings. There were no injuries of security or police officers there, but they did shoot the Palestinian assailant. No word if that person was killed or not. So right now, things remain for the most part calm. Melissa, mm. back to you. John Huddy, thank you so much for that report.